Hi everyone and welcome to Valley Crafty Corner. Uh, today I have my November Studio Calico kit so I thought I would go through it with you. Um, sorry about my voice, I'm not feeling tip top shape today so um, that's why I sound really rough around the edges. Um, so I just thought I would show everybody uh, the cutouts that are the printables that you can get from Studio Calico. Um, this is all a mishmash of all three of them kind of put together and I have these black ones over here just because when I printed it out on that really thick glossy like kind of half glossy cardstock that I had it really smudged the black ones so I think I might just reprint those labels out over again and just on plain cardstock um, and it did kind of smudge and I know it's probably hard to see on camera but it did kind of smudge on some of these other pieces but I just I thought I'd like to show you like there's quite a bit of range like there's all these little uh, die pieces then there's even like um, these project life kind of uh, pieces here that uh, you know you could use for project life or even as journaling pieces and then there's the ones like a four by six. So they all have a, a pretty good range of sizing and um, journaling and and uh, die cut pieces. But for the most part, they generally uh, stay the same from month to month. Just the colors will change. Um, so that's pretty neat. So I'm just going to get rid of these real quick here. And... I'm actually going to throw those black ones in the garbage and uh, reprint uh, that whole uh, label piece out just because they smudged really, really badly. So I got a couple extra things um, this month from Studio Calico and uh, for what I had ordered, they all came in these nice little flower, flower sack bags. So I really, really like these flower sack bags. They're awesome for mini albums um, and stuff like that. And even for gift bags. So I'm definitely going to keep those. Um, I'm just going to take what's out of this one. And I got some more Hero Arts dye ink. Um, I just found over the last little while I did a, a Hero Arts comparison. And I really like the Hero Arts ink. It, it stamps really, really well. So I got the neon, I, like these are all the neon colors. So I got the neon orange, pink, purple, blue, yellow, and green. So those will go in, uh, in with my uh, inks. And I'll just get rid of those. And then some of the other things that I got was this Amphara pack from Studio Calico for the Christmas collection. I can't remember what the Christmas collection's name is off the top of my head and I'm sorry. I think it's like Winterland or something. Actually, here's the 6x6 six six here. It's Wonderland. So it coordinates with the Wonderland pieces. So I got those little pieces and there's just like a whole bunch of little snowflakes and die cuts and and if you look here that's kinda like what you get for the extra pieces. And then I got these wood veneer, um, it's die cut pieces, but like I would call them like, like title prompts or something. And I'll just open it up here so you can see them. So they're all wood based and like they all have like different sayings. This one says, okay. This one says, hello. Hello dear, smile, you look lovely, and just a, pl a plain one, and then a plain uh, kind of like label shape, and this one almost looks like an ornament, and kind of like a flower shape, and then this one that says love on it. So I really like those. And then I got some of the Dear Lizzie Fifth and Frolic, and these are the Brads. And I really like, I really like the gold on these. That gold um, accent really kind of makes it look um, antique almost. 
Um, and this one's the printed chipboard shapes from the same Fifth and Frolic line. And these are what the pieces look like. And then I also got these fabric stickers. And I really like that camera there. And actually, if you have the Neapolitan collection stamp that looks like that same camera. So you could definitely use that camera for this stamp or for this set as well. So those are really nice. And then I got the um, accent and phrase sticker book. And these are worth the money right here. Um, so I'm, I'm sure lots of people have shown this. So, and there's lots of gold accents on these pieces. And my lighting is really, really off today, and I'm really sorry, but I'm just, I'm just too tired to really mess around with my lighting today. So I hope you guys bear with me. So anyway, that's the sticker book. And I also got some extra paper from the Wonderland from um, Studio Calico. So this one here is called Tree Farm. So it's this really nice wood grain on this side and then this really um, cool geometric uh, green shape or green, green print. Uh, then this one is called ice caps and I really I more or less got it for this side but this side's pretty cool too it's like got all these little trees and houses and everything on it and this is the hand knit so this one looks like a hand knit sweater and then this one's a blue print on this side and I wish I would have got two of these but they're pretty I really like that and then this one is called Alpine so it's got this green quatrefoil print on this side and then the red snowflakes on this side. And I don't have a lot of Christmas paper and I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of it. So I just more or less got um, some of the sheets that I, I really like from the Studio Calico kit. So this is all the pieces from the main kit which is uh, Sock Cop. So um, I'll just get into the accent pieces first and then we'll look at the paper. But I, I'm actually liking this kit more so than I have the last couple ones so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm just going to rip off this tape so you can see a better look at it. Uh, I'll put it right here. So it's this green arrow print washi tape. So it looks like that. And then it comes with these uh, wood feathers. So those are pretty cool. And it was packaged by Haven. So thank you, Haven. And the little pieces that you get this month are this little badge that says happy on it. And this one with a little boy on it. And then this stamp set which I actually like this stamp set more so than the last few stamps that we've gotten so I like that and then this is uh, some brads from Echo Park and it's a this says pretty pretty bad not so good good great excellent over the top it's kind of like a little piece and then these little brads look like that. Kind of looks like an ampersand. And then this green one. And then this kind of like um, arrow looking compass one. And then this yellow one. Focus. Anyway, I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. There we go. Looks like a little doily kind of thing. And then this little blue flowery one. So those are the brads. And then it just only came with a few die cut pieces this month, which is kind of nice. So there's like this multicolored uh, pinked circle, this uh, 
kind of geometric shape one. This is plain heart. This one that says smile. And this one that says you. So those are cool. So I'm going to throw those. I have a little metal lunch pail here that I'm going to... I got some um, shapes from my road in here. And I'm just going to put all my accent pieces in there. It just seems to fit better. And I always save these. And I've shown you guys this before. Um, these digital shop and then these other little pieces. And sometimes these patterns coordinate with the papers in the kit. Sometimes, not all the time. So I always usually keep these. And um, this is from Basic Gray. I'm not sure which collection it's from. Um, but anyway, it kind of looks like washi tape. It's, it's transparent, you can see. So that's kind of neat. And then some Basic Gray um, chipboard alpha. And it's, it looks like black in the, in the picture, but it's actually a, a navy blue. And these are from Jenny Bolin, and these are the Red Skinny Albas. So those are nice. So now we're moving on into the paper. And I'm just going to separate the pattern paper here for a minute. And I believe I have to go like this. Yeah. So this is a Studio Calico exclusive, and it's this nice yellow circle pattern. And I'm not sure it, how everybody else feels about the papers, but I know these colors of these papers are more suited towards what I like. So I'm, I'm liking this collection already. So we'll see how it happens to work out in the end. But so far, as a general, as I flip through, I really like it. So this one's called Pop. And then on this side, it's this really pale pink and white dot. So I really like that. And I like this little strip on the bottom. And this is an exclusive paper from Tim and Beck, and it doesn't say a name on it, but it's this uh, floral pattern on this side. It's, it's a really soft kind of um, muted blue with some tints of purple in it. And then this uh, gray um, kind of tanny looking background on this side. And then we got some vellum, and I am not sure where this came from. I would have thought it would have came from the 5th and Frolic collection, but it doesn't. I don't think it is, so I'm not sure which collection it's from, but it's this nice feather vellum paper. And this one's from the Everyday Eclectic collection from, Stu from Echo Park for Studio Calico. And it's this, uh, what's it called? This one is, oh, oh, I understand now. So this one is from the Everyday Eclectic Collection. So I, it doesn't say what the name of it, but I know it's in the collection because I have this. And then on this side, it's for the record two for Studio Calico. So it's kind of like a double print from two different manufacturers. So that's, that's very interesting. So that's kind of cool. And this one's Basic Grey Lucille, and I really like this paper. Um, not so much for this side. This side's okay, but I really like this side. And um, it looks a little busy, but I do lots of layering, and it's nice to have a darker color to pull it, to ground everything. So I really like that. And then this paper is a Studio Calico exclusive from Basic Grey. So it's this red kind of weird chevron print and then this uh, brown muted color on this side and then it's got this weird border on the top but I mean you could usually you could cut that off easily for one of those brining strip pieces even though it's down here so but that's kind of neat and then this is again basic gray for studio calico and it's this pink and tan almost maybe craft uh, chevron print and then this um, graph print on this side. Not, I'm not caring too much for this one. So uh, the last piece of pattern paper is again for basic, uh, basic grade design for Studio Calico and it's this 
print which we've seen in the PB and J collection. It's just in a brown. And then it's got this uh, fun little number print. This almost might be a little bit too busy for me, but we'll see if I use it or not. And then the cardstock that you get in the kit is this really deep teal kind of uh, turquoise. I'm not sure if that's teal or turquoise. I'd say that's maybe turquoise um, color and then gray and craft. And then again, some of this white Swiss dot paper. So, so those seem to coordinate pretty well. So I'm just going to move that stuff over here. And then I did get one extra add-on, and this one is called Poodle Skirt. So, and the reason why I got it is I've been collecting all the Fifth and Frolic um, pieces for uh, the Dear Lizzie line, and this had one of the pieces that I that was in it. So I thought, well, if I was going to get an add-on, I was going to get um, this because it, it was going to save me money in the end, I suppose, if if you think logically like I do or not logically. But this is the die cut cardstock pieces. And this is what the pieces look like. So that's that. I'll stick that over here. And these are so delicious chipboard shapes. And they're just a whole bunch of like little triangles, which you could use as banners. And this is uh, from the sweetest thing, and they're enamel dots, similar to the ones that we got in the last kit. And this stamp set is, um, it doesn't say the name of it, but it's Studio Calico Stamp. And it has a uh, Find Joy, Shine On, Do What You Love, and then this nice little border piece. And I would assume you could either put these, like these title pieces this way or this way. I'm not 100% sure how they'll fit in, but I'll have to see. Some of them might only fit this way. And then this nice little flower piece down here. And that might actually coordinate really well with the fifth and for all the collection. So we'll see. And then it came with the October afternoon snow cone mini market stickers. And that's another reason why I got this add-on is because I really, really wanted these. That's usually the only time I really get an add-on is if it's got a few things in it that I really, really wanted. And... This, um, this, uh, are some tape strips, so I would assume it's like the washi strips from Basic Gray for Soleil collection. So those will be interesting to see. I've never used those before. And these are some Portfolio Alpha stickers from, uh, Pink, pa um, is it Pink Paisley? Yeah, Pink Paisley. And I don't really have a lot of stuff from Pink Paisley, so this will be interesting to see how that works. Um, it doesn't say the name of it. It just has Pink Paisley stickers, so they're just the puppy silver ones. And then the papers that came in this one were quite a few from the 5th and Frolic collection, so I wasn't disappointed uh, with that for sure. So this piece of paper is uh, called Ticket Booth, and it's from the Midway Collection. So it's this nice uh, geometric yellow print on this side. And then it's got all these uh, different colored of ticket strips. So, I mean, either way, you could either use the strips, you know, as individual tickets or use as this side. So not sure which way I'll do that. And then I... I have this piece of paper already. I have lots of the Fifth and Frolic collection. I think I have all the papers. So um, for the ones that I got extra, I am so thrilled that I got this kit. Um, so this one's called Foxy Fairview, and I really like this pattern. Um, and again, this is kind of showing up red, but it's it's uh, a, really a pink. So, And then this side is that uh, looks like uh, sprayed paper towel in kind of a pinky color and this one's called sixth and maple oh I'm not sure what happened there went all fuzzy so this one's called sixth and maple hopefully it focuses there we go so it's just this uh, piece of paper that has text print in here and um, a little bit of distressing going on but it's more or less just a frame piece and then this yellow triangle print on the back and this one is from the Soho Garden, and it's Gramercy Park, I think is what it's called. I'm not sure. 
but I this is a black um, and like those dots have little lines in them I'm not sure if that's gonna pick up or not but anyway it's the hat prints on this side I like this side better so it's all these little fl uh, feathers that have uh, kind of a pattern in them and this paper I really really like and it actually coordinates really well with the Dear Lizzie line and it's called Vivid 06 and it doesn't say all it says is I low scrap paper and it's www.ilowescrap.com.pl and it says it's made in Poland and it's pretty cool paper I mean like you could use this for your project life and then on this side it's a gradient kind of um, it's, it's really hard to tell but if I pull it closer maybe you can see that it variates from green to blue and then it's kind of like a yellowy green down here but it's a gradient kind of page so that's pretty neat and it's a little thicker than normal paper so I really really like this paper so far and this kind of reminds me of um, those studio calico pieces from I think it was uh, take note is what I believe it was from and then the last piece of paper is again from the fifth and frolic and this is sixth and main and I really like this side and I really like this side so um, anyway that's all I have to share today and hopefully I feel really better soon I have been working on um, some other stuff that I, I am trying to get organized to show you guys so um, bear with me for a little while. I might not be on um, YouTube too much. Just I'm just trying to kick whatever I have going on here and, and hopefully I feel better soon. But um, thanks for watching and I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks. Bye.